got to choose carefully who you have pilot this with. Take baby steps, um, but choose your very best instructors. Make sure they, they're interested and want to do it too. Give them the information they need so they buy into it, so they want to be on board. In thinking about expanding the program, um, I, I thought about this way ahead of time when I chose the team, and I chose carefully. I knew I had uh, excellent teachers to begin with, but they were also school leaders, and they were people that uh, the rest of the faculty looked up to. And they've just um, taken this ball that I've thrown them and run with it, and they've gotten kids, right? into the faculty. They've, kids, they've taken opportunities, or, or I've given them opportunities to present to the faculty yeah, on a couple of occasions, of but there are more plans in the work for, to expand that. Other teachers see it, have seen it, and want to do the same thing, and are doing the same thing in the classrooms. Our, our district has begun an emphasis on formative assessments, and so um, we did a book study this year as well on formative assessments, so we're really trying to integrate um, the strategies into it. So our principal um, decided to send us over so we can kind of be the school leaders at implementing um, uh, some new formative assessment strategies um, for the whole staff words. eventually. It needs to be done at a peer-to-peer -peer level rather than a top-down approach. You have to kind of have some people do the work first and understand it if you want them to really present it and show the rest of the staff how to do it. Then it's authentic. Yeah. One of the worst things when you're asked to present something to a staff or do, and you don't even know what you're doing. Use a PLC for them and set some, you know, m markers and monitor it, but have them monitor each other, have them monitor themselves. It's powerful when you say you're going to do something especially amongst your peers, so instead of making it, you know, the administration has to, has to come down and monitor it, make sure you're doing this and make a binder for that. For us it started small. Who was ready? Who were the go-getters on staff that were positive voices to share those stories and successes? And so as we walked into this particular two-year pilot, we had a core group that um, were just eager and that's where they were professionally to give things a go and experiment in the classroom and try some things or be reaffirmed in practices that they were already implementing. This wouldn't have worked if we, if we tried to bring on people that just weren't ready or didn't have that understanding and openness just yet. And I think that openness is probably the most important piece, both with entering the pilot and in the classroom as well. These Myers, teachers were ready for that Myers, next and step, Myers and I think that that's really important. Really like Logistically, I think that the pilot was a success at Armo because that team had devised a system so that we could support one another and through the pilot. So for example, all of the modules that we went through, we were providing internal feedback to one another before we you know, posted to the community or shared an idea. And I really think that they supported one another. And I think they entered into the pilot with that mindset and that's what helped them to be successful.